Today I got another awesome tutorial for you guys. This is really going to make you stand out. People are going to be asking you on your stream, how did you do that? All right. What? Okay, hold on guys. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. There's one on this other side of the building. Oh, oh god. Yeah, I'm down. Both broken. That's right. I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own custom be right back scene that just is completely different than anything anybody else does. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. But first, hit the like button, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm rolling out with new content every week. Let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial, all right? The first thing you're going to need to do is set up a couple things. Uh, first off, we did a couple videos. Uh, over the past couple weeks, you're going to need to have touch portal set up and you're also going to need to have a uh, move transition uh, set up. Move transition is going to help you do set up the move values in order to make things go from transparent to being able to be seen. And then uh, the touch portal is going to help set up all your little macros for your, almost like your stream deck. I think this might work for stream deck. I wouldn't know because I'm still balling on a budget and I don't have a stream deck. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. The first thing we're gonna need to do is go ahead and download the stream effects plugin. So go ahead and open up your uh, Google search bar, type in uh, stream effects for OBS studio. Also link will be down in the description. So once you get here, just go ahead and click go to download. That's gonna bring you here to this page right here at the top stream effects. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom and then get yourself the Windows Archive zip file. That's going to bring open this zip file here. Just go ahead and copy both the files that are in there. Then go to local disk, program files, and OBS Studio. Where is it? There it is. And go ahead and copy and paste those into there. All right. Once you open up your OBS fresh after doing that, you should have a pop up that says Stream Effects. If that didn't open up, uh, you should have a tab up here in the top corner and that should let you know that everything uh, you did was was good all right so to start off a couple new features that stream effects drops in to uh, to OBS is in the filters category here what else does it come with it comes with blur 3d transform and then another thing uh, it comes with is I believe these shaders it comes with the shader down here and color grading, which color grading is a little bit more in depth than just the color correction is. You can adjust the gain of everything, uh, just the blues of something or the greens. So that's something else you can do right there. But the main thing we're gonna be concentrating on today is the blur and then also Going down here, you have a new feature for adding a source. You have the shader down here, and then you also have adding a source mirror, which is what I do in order to make these. Uh, I kind of take my full screen camera, I crop it down, but as you can see, this is still like you can see my hands down below my normal thing. So what I did was I added a mirror source. So you add a source mirror, and then you will add filters for a blur and I went Gaussian blur round 34 of what I like and then you just adjust the contrast to whatever you want and the brightness to whatever you want and I use this for almost every I use this in almost every scene all right using this uh this blur and mirror effect even right here in my normal camera like you're seeing I use uh image mask and I'll put the image mask and I put the image mask on another mirror of my same camera. And then I make a, another mirror of the same mirror that I put this image mask on. And all I did was make this one blur. So you see right here, it blur, this whole camera right here is blurred a little bit, very slightly. And then I got a color correction on it to kind of make it like a frosty white for, to make it so my, uh, a little alert bar down here at the bottom shows up. So in order to go ahead and make 
your be right back scene we're going to start from scratch right here we're going to go ahead and click down here you're going to add a source mirror and we're just going to go ahead and make a whole new mirror and it's going to be cheapy cam yeah main source all right so right here i got a full camera view of what my uh my camera is so what you do is from there you take this and you're going to add filters to it so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to add a blur and gaussian and we're going to set it around in the 30s like that i gotta exit it out okay and then what you're going to need to do is now you're going to need to use what we did last week in the move transition uh plug in you're going to add a move value so go ahead and add a move value just like that and you're going to come over here to blur setting size and you see it comes up with the value right there so move value one and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and name this one blur all right so then you're gonna come back up here and you're just gonna take that blur and you're gonna drag it all the way back down so it's not blurred anymore and then come back up here add another move value and we'll just rename this one I like to name these because it helps out in the uh, process of making your buttons in Touch Portal. And we'll just call this one Unblur. Keep it simple. All right, and we're gonna make the big blur there, size, and get value. There you go. Uh, if it doesn't work and when you make the button, a lot of times what all you need to do is come over here to the Start Trigger tab and just say enable when the eye in front of the icon filter is is enabled but we should see and then so now when i click this first one you see it blurs it and click the second one it unblurs it all right and then the next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to add some type of media source in here and let me find something here uh, videos there we go i'll use this 40 second thing here that I got earlier playing. So what I did was I took this and I set this guy up like this. And then to get your uh, be right back lettering, something I like to do is I like to go to a site called defont.com. And in here you can pick any, uh, any font that you really like You can go old school and you can find something kind of kind of neat uh i think i went for something around horror yeah and i i did the true lies like this um but we'll just go ahead and do something like this one here the sector i kind of like that so you go ahead and you, you click download you're gonna have to extract these and when you click on the file here, all you're gonna need to do is right click on each one of these and go down to where it says install and just click install like that. And do that for both of those, just like that. And then all you gotta do is open up some type of software uh, for like what I used was like Photoshop. Uh, some A free one if you want is you can go to uh, photopia.com Again, links for all these will be down in the, in the description. And just click on a new project. Leave it 1280 by 720 is fine. And you're just gonna need to click a new layer, unlock that first layer and delete it. So it's got a transparent background. Hit the, where is it? The type tool. And when you come up here to this top corner to select your font, you're just gonna hit load font and you're gonna have to go to that same folder in your downloads, just like this. So now at the top, it should be there at the top. If not, no, what it, yeah, it's not. So it was called sector. So that's what we know it's called. And we're just gonna type in B right back and just blow that up. I really like this font. It looks really cool. Okay. So now that you got that created, 
You're going to go up here to file and you're just going to go to export as PNG. Save. Then you're kind of going to come back over here to OBS and you're going to add in another uh, another source for a image and you're going to come over here to browse and it should have saved to my downloads yep there it is and be right back oh so, so this thing's kind of see-through that's crazy all right might have to use a different one load font i have to use the other one all right and then for the color of this We're just gonna make it make it red and export as PNG. Alrighty. So come back in here. I'm gonna change this to the new one. Boom. There we go. So now I got this big old B right back there. And for this guy, I need to have that set to loop so it keeps playing. Okay. And then something else that mine has. Uh, that I didn't show at the beginning of this video is mine also has chat that rolls down the side and the only reason it didn't show is because I have it set to transparent so that's something else you can add is a little a whole chat box over here to the side so that way you, everybody on stream sees the chat going they see this cool stuff pop up and they're like oh man that's super cool okay so now the next thing we're gonna need to do for the media source is we're gonna add another filter to this one and for this one, we're going to do the same thing we did last week is set it to transparent and then make it so it's visible uh, in the beginning of the video. So we're going to come over here to move value or nope, sorry, color correction first. Set the opacity all the way down to zero and move value. And we're going to name this one transparent. Then we're going to add another move value color correction. Sorry, on the transparent filter color correction, opacity, get value zero, good. Uh, and then something else I like to do is I add a start delay to mine. So I add a one second start delay. So once the scene is active, it counts one second, then it begins the, uh, the effect. And then I set everything to another one second effect time for it to take effect on everything. Okay, then the move value, we're gonna do the same thing, color correction, and down here to opacity. Need to come back up here to the color correction and take that back all the way up to 100 and get value 100. Okay, so there we go, we got that one done. Okay, and the same thing for this image here. We're gonna come in here, color correction, opacity down to zero, move value. Just name it something so you know what they are when you go into touch portal so you know which filter is the one to select opacity get value zero start delay of 1000 right and then add another move value check your opacity all the way back up move value color correction opacity get value and set your delays okay so now we're going to jump over here to touch portal so open your touch portal app. So the first one, we're gonna just call this one, be right back. So you're gonna need to come down here and you're gonna need to set a button to take you to that source, to that uh, to that scene. So you can set scene and we'll call it scene, this one, mine scene two, cause I'm doing a different one. And then you're gonna set a button to set the scene. You're gonna set another one to set source filter. So what were all those filters even called? I forget. Source mirror three. Okay, source mirror three. We're gonna call the, we're gonna make the first one blur. So this way it sets the blur effect when I press that button to go to that screen. And then we're gonna set another source filter for that media source. What's that media source? It's just called media source. And we're going to do the second one that is not, that makes it visible. And another source filter for the image that's there, right? Yeah, it's just image. And we're going to make it so it's not see-through. Okay. So all the ones that bring the other ones forward from not being see-through anymore, 
and blurs the background is what you need set for the be right back button so go ahead and hit save on that all right guys so one more thing i forgot to mention was here inside touch portal after you've created your be right back button to take you there and to apply all those filters you need to set on all of your other buttons to all of your other scenes to undo all of those filters all right so you need to go to your just chatting scene button and set the buttons for the set source like here you're going to come back down and you're going to uh, set the source filter to undo all of those filters that you did so like how i have here turn on image three move value that unblurs or that sets the filter for the image for be right back it sets that back to invisible for your media source for your gameplay footage that you have it needs to set that back to invisible again and then it needs to have a set uh, set the source filter to unblur your camera because if you do not do this anytime you click on one of your touch portal buttons to take you to another scene your camera will be blurry and if you don't do it for the other two when you hit your be right back button you're not going to get the same effect. All your be right back and your video will already be there covering you and your video will then blur afterwards. Well, all right guys, if you've done everything correctly now, when you go to click your be right back scene, it should do this. And when you go back to your main scene, your camera should not be blurry again. So that way when you go back to be right back, it does the exact same features. All right guys, hopefully you like this video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell because starting this Monday, I'm streaming right here on YouTube. Starting something new, Twitch has been awesome. Want to start trying to grow this YouTube channel to really make it into something. All right. So hit that notification bell so you make sure you know when I go live. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Fading up, fading up. Crack the second one. Yeah, we'll the other one. One, two, three. Oh, what the fuck? Right here, bro.